All right, guys, welcome back to Dying Light 2. We've got an open world to explore. And if you remember at the end of the last episode, it told us a couple of things we can do. Obviously, we can use the binoculars to spot items and areas of interest on the map. But it can also direct us towards these blue icons, which are like rescue missions. I think is the way it described it. And as soon as it told me about them, there is one right here. So I'm kind of kind of expecting to have a little rumble in the jungle over there. But how do we get there first? Let's get over to the other side of these buildings. When you're on the zip wire, I think oh, okay that works. So I press circle to to, to get off. Um, is there somebody over there? I wonder if that's what we've got to do. Or is, oh no no no, it's a bit further along. Down there, we've got some trouble. Gosh, can I make that jump? Looks a bit far. I'm going to go this way. But there's a whole world to explore. Go, nice soft landing. There we go. I see what we've got here. I've got my uh, my trusty baseball bat. I think we're going to have to help these people out. Uh oh. Come on then. Let's put this. Oh god, I was going to say, let's put this uh, combat to the test. How come I need to get. Oh, I want to try going, going for a parry. Not working. But heal, heal, heal. Sort of works. What's going on? Oh my god, these guys are tough, but I'm okay. Somebody raised the alarm. But the, uh, the zombies are kind of taking care of that guy. Alright, one left. Okay, I tried to kick, but there was nothing to kick. It's all over. So we just got a couple of zombies to take care of now. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, because they already took a chunk of their health down. Nice. Right, let me just heal. Uh, sorry, heal? <laughs> Untie this poor chap. Right, there you go. So this should give me some XP, right? Yep. You going to give me some XP? Did I get some? So, look, I saved you. Oh, hang on a second. There's another one up there. Defeat hostiles. Oh, is there somebody else I've got to kill? There's somebody else I've got to kill. Not too far away. Oh, there you are. Come back here. Ah. Uh. Oh, he's downstairs now. Brilliant. Can you... Oh, you nasty bastard. Okay, you've got some help now. There we go. <laughs> Peacekeeper rescue. There we go. 200. Oh, wow. XP is huge off these guys. Thanks. Uh, and he gives me an immunity booster. Thank you very much, sir. Well, see, we've both done each other a favour here. What else have I got? A spore for it, a bracelet. So, going for these uh, human beings. Not quite sure what group they belong to yet. Seems to have done me a huge favour. Next mission we've got is spend time at the bazaar while waiting to hear from Hakon. But I'm wondering if I should creep through this place. Alright, I'm running. Sod it. I've woken him up. Oh, check this out. Oh, uh oh. Oh, yes. Nice. Right. And there's one here. I think I might go for this one first. Just see if it's worthwhile. Dark Hollows, Forsaken Stores. Oh, so that's what we're in now. I see. 
There are two open world locations that contain valuable loot. During the day, they're full of infected, but it's smart to explore them in the night. Right, well, I'm doing it during the day. Great idea, Sam. Well done. Um, they provide you with rare craft parts that can be used to create weapon mods and other, other more advanced items. Dark Hollows are the best place to find valuables and old world money. Loot them to increase your wealth. So, a good place to come at night. Rags. That this was the best place. Really. But there is more. He's down. Okay, looks like I've got this timer going. That must be the timer for um for my my health oh yeah the five minute timer so we're in the dark well, that wasn't such a bad a bad idea we can do these during the day but it's just full of zombies you can't see a damn thing i know i don't want to put the torch on in case i wake someone up there's this is not very good it's supposed to be the best place for stuff absolute rubbish Fine. Well, um, I think I'm going to just get on with the next story mission. Now we know what to expect in these places. Oh, it's so tempting to want to have a look around, but I'll be back. He was empty. Hmm. Right, the bazaar. Okay, well that is that is the place. Let's find out what this is all about. A cordyceps. Oh. I huh. wonder if that's a little nod to uh, The Last of Us. Always close the door. Good manners. Hi. Do I know you? Don't think so. I don't recognise any of these people. Oh yes. Info board. The latest and hottest. You did say something about uh, a board where I might find information about Mia. Welcome to the bazaar. Well, what are we doing here? Oh, wow. Where you're going? What a day. No freaking way I can do it. What's that, Carlos? And all for nothing. Easy money. I just have How to easy. get it right this time. Easy enough. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Matt, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Right, tell me about this test. Oh, I gotta help him pass the test. I hope it's not a driving test. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. <laughs> All my tears are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence. 
energize with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. <laughs> I called this invention the electric fence. Yeah, great idea, mate. It's been done. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Right, guess what I've got to do. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Right. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, oh, I have the parts, do I? <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. Heaven must have sent you. Here. What did I give him? I, I have no idea what he actually needed. You. He said electrical parts. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. All right, dude. Well, we got one right. mission or oh, one side quest ready to go. Again. Turn on Carlos's device. Should we do that now? Might as well. Hello. We'll come back to speak to her in a second. Right, so this electric goat thing. Oh god. <laughs> We've just done something bad to one of the goats. Did you hear that squeal? It happened. That's about the only time I smile. Alright. You crack pot. Ah. I think we just fried it. Yeah, sorry about that. Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what <laughs> happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, uh, <laughs> this guy. A, uh, He's going to finish the sentence uh, eventually. Master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. Oh, if it it's not be good. strong enough, come round to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Well, this is a great start. And everybody gets to eat roast goat tonight. What have we got? Weapon mods. And to install a weapon mod, you, uh, you need to have the blueprint for it. And any required parts and the right weapon. Well, okay. Check the number of mod slots in uh, on the weapon icon. The best weapons to ha uh, have three slots. Okay, and I've got two weapons with two, I think. Grip, shaft, and tip. <laughs> Such. I don't know if they meant 
Oh, my mind. My dirty mind. I don't know if they meant that, but it's, it's, it's hilarious. Different mods fit into different slots. Uh, now press this on your inventory and go to the right weapon and choose... Or choose the right weapon and press triangle to modify it. Okay. We got a load of XP. So this is why it's worth doing all these side quests. We're going to level up quickly doing it. Ah, there you go. So I couldn't select modify on these two, but I can on these because it has modification slots. A machete. The crude machete. 14 damage. This one, grabby bat. So I suppose I can apply this modification to any of these things, right? I mean, oh, there you go. The spark blueprint. We need scraps, wiring, and electrical parts. Hopefully we've got all those already. Apply shock effect. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> so this is how it works, it says. Nice. So I've got a shocking, shockingly good weapon now. <laughs> infected trophy. Proof of victory over an on uncommon infected. Oh, it must be used as some kind of, uh, some kind of currency or something. Find more people in the bazaar. We've done one successful side quest so far. Fuck me. People will always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. Oh, this is the notice board. I guess this will give us some more side quests, right? The quest giver. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Night runners? Oh, I can ask him about Mia as well. Uh, let's go with the night runners first. Yeah, those night runners. Tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Wait, Frank? Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. Uh, right, um, how do I find them now? Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Wait, 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 don't go. I wanted to ask him about Mia. Oh, for God's sake. Did that mean I've lost my chance? Oh. I should have asked about Mia. Just to see what would happen. Next night, he turned while the light was still green. Just like that. Fine. We'll talk to some more people. Right. I spotted you on the way out. You look familiar. Yeah. I'm the guy who almost got hanged. Oh, oh that's right. You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. Um, you'd have managed somehow. Okay, no, she's right, though. She is right. I see. It was a risky situation. I get it. So? We good? We're good. <laughs> All right, more friends. Sorry. Yeah, not going to talk to him. Who else have we got here? Does my spidey senses give me anything? Oh, there's a guy behind the bar. Right, talk. Hey, hangman. How's the neck? Hilarious. Very funny. Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? 
You didn't kill anyone and you're free. Win-win. Who is Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, I wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. Hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. Well, let me go introduce myself to Barney. The Barney the Bear? Barney Rubble? Alright, we've got someone else over there. Oh, this is a mod location. Okay, can't go through there. Let's go speak to this dude. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Okay. Maybe he is a little suspicious. So what's your proof? Yes, what's the proof? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Tell you what, they like a good hanging round here, don't they? I wonder what the hell is going uh, I've got an unspent skill point. All right. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. But you don't sell water. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this is revenge. Maybe you stored it improperly. Uh, let's try that you one. Sure. <clears throat> How do you store it? I buy bottled. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier Marco always has clean water. Okay, I do get to ask both of these. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I like I this plan. Check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Ah, walking away in silence. I think that speaks volumes in itself. So, new side quest given. Nobody's yet willing to talk about Mia. Merchants, allow you to buy craft parts, new weapons, and other items. Okay, they offer the most powerful weapons. Visit them often to increase your combat strength. You can find merchants in all of the main hubs, as well as inside assigned facilities and settlements. All right, look at, check this out. Look at the, look at the six axe there. I like the look of that. Sell all valuables. Oh, there's an option to sell all valuables. Well, where are they? It's just random stuff that I picked. Oh, like the bracelet. Oh, miscellaneous stuff. A white crystal core, common valuable. Rare and valuable crystal cores that start. Oh, so there's no actual need for them except they, they, well, they give me back money. So, okay, let's sell those. There it is. Nice. Oh, we could buy something called a duck hammer. <laughs> it's a blunt weapon, but pretty damn good. And the hacksaw. Let's buy the hacksaw. Because why not? So we got one parkour point. Reduce fall damage and keep your momentum. Press circle just before landing, or make the last jump on ledges even when your stamina is gone and briefly maintain your grip. I might go for this one though, because I've, I've fallen down quite a lot when I've run out of stamina, so let's grab that as a 
priority first. So, look, this is getting a little silly. I don't know who else to talk to. I've probably shown you a couple of conversations. But I seem to have run out I of... Like Villador so far. I seem to have run out of talkers. I'll keep looking around till I find one, but... Haven't seen my kids in months there is more to meet somewhere, <laughs> somehow. Right, I've wandered around, look, speaking to everybody, and it's not... It's not working for me, so I'm going to go and do this guy's side quest here. Um, I've just got to find out how to do it. In my journal, perhaps? But we've got this one. Find Marco the water supplier. Let's track it. Okay. Find Hans the hunter before he, before he drinks the poison water and the supplier. Uh, they can't be too far away. Oh. Psst. You. Got water for sale? No, no, I'm not getting involved in selling water around here. Obviously, you can get hung for such, such crimes. Uh, oh, 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 this is taking me outside. Right. But it's getting dark. I don't like it. Oh, it is dark. Oh, should I sleep before doing this? Yeah, I'm going to sleep before doing this. This ridiculous blockade at the center. Good night and good luck. Lovely. No weird dream about Mia this time. I get a nighttime bonus plus parkour. Oh, I see. So if I went out in the night, I'd earn more XP for parkour and combat. Okay, it's fine. I didn't really want to go out at night just yet. Wait until I'm a little bit higher level. We've got two objectives, 300 meters and mm, uh, not 300 meters, what's the other one? Oh, they're all the way over here in Houndfield. Settlement. Right, let me uh, run my way over there. How's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof near the main metro station. The only way out. Uh, oh, that's the, that's the main mission. So am I supposed to do this one or not? I'm going to do it anyway. <gasps> oh, God. Oops. Big mistake. Oh, wait a second. We've got a... Military convoy. Scavenge weapon gear and accessories. There's a big bloody zombie in the middle. And these guys are... Yeah, they mean business. Okay. Ah! Uh. we got to go. Another dark hollow. Very nice. Oh, right there. Got it. Oh. That just rubs me These bad guys. What the hell? Where'd he come from? I'm so Okay, I'm gonna try one of my new weapons. That's got him done. You're done. Oh god. One down. It's another. Get in there. Are you like 
There we go. Combat skill point as well. Oh my god. Decapitation. Uh, a bit more medicine, thank you. Some as uh, asporphin, whatever that is. And uh, I guess I can now loot whatever these guys have been hiding around here. Nice resin scraps, leather, all good stuff. Right, we're only 70 meters away. Oh god. Better wrap one of these around me and. Right, that's the building we've got to get to, right? This probably means I've got to get in through that window. Doesn't look that easy. Try the drain pipe. All right, we found an alternate. Is the place to be? Is it? Where is he? A bit of flour, a bit of rice. Oh, looks kind of dark and scary. But this feels like the right place to be. We're going in. <gasps> Ouch. Ah, are you the guy I'm looking for? Enemies nearby, can't use him. Nothing. Yeah, this is the person I'm supposed to talk to. Oh. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. Right, this is the supplier, okay? You sell poisoned water, or what are you talking about? Um... I'm here, because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. Alright? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Alright, well then it all becomes clear now. And I see where we've got to get to. Oh my god. Just a few of them then. Alright. So many. My stamina is depleted. Alright, Screamer. Alright, it's done. Let me just scavenge everything I can. Loads of cash. These were rich zombies. Blood and parts everywhere. What have we got? Broken bottle. Ah. Electronic parts. Oh, that's how we get them. Nice. Issues. Some weights. Very good. That will help me run around the rooftops. <laughs> Being weighed down. Molotovs. Beauty. Got healing supplies. 
There's loads more stuff. I've got to do this quick though. I'm going to get in trouble soon. Right, is that it? Just another bottle. Ah. Oh. Bit of resin. Make way, kid. Huh, nice cut. Right, okay, you're safe. Now. What's the story with the water? Wait. Oh, look at that hammer. Love the weapon he's got. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. Brilliant. You, you deliberately poisoned the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Okay, this is a moral choice then. Do, so do I tell them the truth, but what about Julian? What about Julian? They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Oh. Oh, don't do this to me. I'm sorry, Marco. I met Julian first, and you were an idiot. Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. Brilliant. Oh, let's do this. Now you're mine, bitch. <laughs> oh, he's bleeding. For you, motherfucker. Yeah, nice move. Oh, I forgot about this dodge move. Very useful. You can hardly see. Look at that. He's dripping all over the place. Okay, I think the dodge is the way to go. Holy crap. Oh, look at that. That's so disgusting. What's happened to his neck? <laughs> Alright, we got his flower. What the hell happened there? We gave him no neck. So, now I've killed this guy. Um, he certainly won't be selling any more water. Uh, immunity booster. I guess I better get back and tell everybody the good news. Ah, but there is someone else to find, isn't there? Yes, okay. Oh yeah, there was another... Somebody else who had water, I've got to tell him not to drink it. And we've discovered a new Dark Hollow. I'll climb this one. Looks pretty tall. Let's right, rest. Get the stamina back. Keep going. Okay, 
finally getting the hang of this parkour. That's it. We got this. Nice. Alright, I burst in just in time. Hans? Knocked the water out of his Hans hand like there? a hero. Oh, we got a lockpick. Nice. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's close. That's it. Hans? Still haven't broken one. Hans. Hans? Hello? Oh, Anna. What the hell? Scott, don't drink that water. <coughs> water? <coughs> this isn't water. <coughs> oh. That moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Oh, God. Where no. is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian, it might be contaminated. He's hunting at this, uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. <laughs> We're just going to pour alcohol down his throat. Brilliant. Right, find hands. Oh, just a few hundred meters away. Another 300. Well, it's one way to, to learn how to get around the city, I suppose. Oh, there's somebody to help down here. Is there? Are these good guys or bad guys? Get it, oh, get I knew it. I knew it. This ends <laughs> That's the one. That's what I've been looking for. It's just it's, it's such a weird combination of combination of buttons. Oh, that's one. How did I miss that guy? There it is. He's done. Oh. <laughs> oh god, the waterfall. Bandits defeated. Not the most elegant of combat styles, but I will take it. Nice. Doing all right here. And what have we got? What loot have you got for me? Oh, it's a medium lockpick. All right, this will be a a little bit tougher. There it is. Nice. Firm shoes. And a little bit of rice. Well, that was totally worth it. And of course I'm low on health. That health bar is pathetically small. And healing actually doesn't fill it up completely. Okay. Hans, press and uh, to use the binoculars. Really? What are we looking for? Hands. What does hands look like? A couple of bandits over there. You gotta be shit. You are so dead, fucker. This hands here. Kill that son of a bitch. Fucking kill him. All oh, right. Bandits, it's at uh, six o'clock. You're so fucked. You want to sell it? Hans? Hans? Oh, you old fool. Was oh, that him up there? Ah, oh, there he is. Get him. Oh, look at this area. Oh, wow. Looks horrible, but uh, interesting. Can't use enemies nearby. Let's play. Oh, for God's sake. Sure. 
Right, here we go. Get down. I've only got a balaclava on. Oh. Yeah, well, come on in. Oh, he's gone. There we go. Right, now we can talk. Hans, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Right. Give him the booze. That's the right choice. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already. Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that. My Anna. She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Much obliged. Well, I feel like a hero. I've killed the guy who accidentally poisoned the water. I still feel that it wasn't maybe the right thing necessarily. However, time to get back to the bazaar. This, this particular area, though, where the hell are we? Oh, all the way out the back end of the map. So is this even explorable? We found so many, so many places to go, go play. But yeah, we're gonna have to head back to the bazaar. Let me go. We've got a, a a damsel in distress situation. I think I can take him. Surprise! Right, let's deal with these assholes. <laughs> Mind you, these are level twos. That'll do. That's nice. Nice. <laughs> this is working all right. Oh, and that's hurting. He's, he's really damaged. This is going to take some time to get through them. These guys are... Oh, God. No. Stop it. That guy's down. One more. Eat this. Oh. Oh, I do love it. It's stupid amounts of fun. Like, really, really stupid amounts of fun. Love it. Got a new weapon as well. A little bit of alcohol. Never mind. Anyway, you're welcome. Peacekeeper rescued. Oh, and they've got a load of Thought load I of XP for that. Other PKs, but you came through. Thanks. You're welcome, and an immunity booster. So I guess I can use that in the darker zones when I'm really struggling. Uh, yeah, we can go through. Okay, let's try this walkway then. Much more stylish. There we go. Right, we're pretty close to the bazaar now. Uh, can you jump that? Oh, that was close. Gonna get on the ground. Can't be too far. Right, finally made it all the way back. Fairly uneventful. Apart from that one uh, massacre. <laughs> but this should be the end of this side quest, right? Unless he tells me I've got to do something else. Or oh, we've got to prevent him from being hung anyway. Oh, here we go. What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. 
Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Okay, got it. What's it in here for me? Oh, don't... No, see, we're not going down that road. We're going to be honest and good. The water was tainted from the supplier. Not Julian. <laughs> Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It, it wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in... Marco... He's dead. I... I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> that scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster. Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bevan what happened. Well, I hope that was the right thing to do. But now we can pick up the mission with Hack on. Uh, who was around here somewhere? Oh, he said meet him up on the roof when we were done. Okay. Right, well, now we've done our little bizarre meeting with bizarre people. I'm going to head out to Hack on. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. More coming very soon. But I think I'm gonna sleep it over until we, until we meet Hack on in the daytime, preferably early morning. All the best, take care, and good night.